Colonizing Mars. That mission could happen sooner than you think. A senior employee of SpaceX at SpaceX has officially announced SpaceX will likely make it to Mars before the NASA Artemis mission does. Isn't that crazy? And how will SpaceX make it possible? What did Elon Musk have to say about that? All this and more in today's episode of Great SpaceX. SpaceX's president and chief operating officer predicted that humans will reach Mars before the end of the 2020s. Gwen Shotwell said in an interview with CNBC, we should put people on the surface of Mars within a decade. In this, in, within a decade. I think One it would decade. be in this decade, yes. I think we need to get a large delivery to the surface of Mars, uh, and then people will start thinking harder about it. And then I think within five or six years, people will see that that will be a real place to go. What's a little strange about Shotwell's estimated date that humans will arrive on Mars is that it's far in advance of what NASA had in mind with its Artemis mission, which is taking a moon to Mars approach. NASA estimates Artemis will send a crewed mission to Mars in 2040 or so, a little over 10 years what Shotwell says SpaceX will. Notably, Shotwell's comments echo similar predictions made by SpaceX's CEO, Elon Musk, in December. On the Lex Fridman podcast, Musk said he thought that in the best case scenario, people would be on the red planet in about five years, while the worst case would be 10 years. He also said the company's biggest challenge was to engineer a vehicle that can optimize tonnage into orbit and then onto Mars. Starship is the most complex and advanced rocket that's ever been made, Musk said. More recently, the tech mogul made another prediction that humans would be on Mars in 2029. So it's no secret that SpaceX was established by Musk in 2002 with an aim to make this ambitious vision a reality. Musk aims to do that by developing a fully reusable rocket called Starship. This vehicle would significantly reduce launch costs, making trips to the moon and even the red planet much cheaper. NASA has also shown confidence in Musk's idea as it has offered a billion dollar contract for developing the Starship rocket to transport crew and cargo to the moon under the Artemis program. Currently, SpaceX is working toward a big milestone in Starship's development, the vehicle's first ever orbital test flight, which the company wants to launch from its South Texas facility, Starbase, in the near future. Most recently, the Duo 724, which was hinted at taking place in this landmark mission, has completed the assembly. The 24 stands for Ship 24, and its nose cone lifted and stacked at Starbase's build site inside the high bay about a day ago. Now that Ship 24 is fully stacked, Starship Gazer captured its close-up view. And it looks very nice. We hope that we can see it moving to the launch site for testing soon ideally within the week. And at that time, it can merge with its partner, Super Heavy Booster 7. B7 moved from the build site to the orbital launch site hours ago. That means the downcomer issue has been fixed. B7 was lifted and mounted on the orbital launch mount later on. And a cryotest was conducted on B7. Huge thanks to Lab Padre and Starship Gazer for documenting these great moments. We will most likely witness a bunch of tests on B7 and S24, or even on a fully stacked 724 next. We just hope that all goes well. Then the long-awaited launch will come. But besides that, according to the latest FAA update, the Section 106 review is now complete after many months of delays. The next step is completing the environmental assessment by the end of the month. We hope to see a Starship test flight in the next few months from Starbase. While SpaceX's Starship is making positive strides, the new setbacks arose for NASA's Artemis 1 mission. NASA announced last Thursday that it would delay the launch of its new moon rocket to early August 2022, much later than the April or May launch dates it was considering back in February. Jim Free, Associate Administrator of the Exploration Systems Development Mission Directorate at NASA headquarters, during a Thursday media conference call, said that they will set that official launch date after they get through wet dress. The wet dress rehearsal is the final major ground test of the SLS rocket, the workhorse of NASA's Artemis program. But this test is also the culprit causing the setbacks. 
NASA personnel detected errors the last three times that this days-long test was performed in April at a launch pad at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida. Some issues were reparable at the launch pad, but the ones most recently spotted could only be fixed by wheeling the rocket back to the complex's Titanic Vehicle Assembly Building. The team working on SLS, which stands taller than the Statue of Liberty herself, replaced a faulty piece of hardware called a check valve. They are still investigating a leaky fuel cable called an umbilical, which connects it to the frame support of the rocket known as the Mobile Launcher. Over the weekend, NASA's United Launch Alliance partner replaced the check valve. The culprit so far is a small piece of rubber, which may have triggered the valve's malfunction sensor and prevented it from sealing correctly. The check valve erroneously allowed a backflow of helium during the wet dress rehearsal. Teams use the gas for purging the engine before fuel is loaded into the rocket tank. Teams chose to assess several umbilical lines with similar designs to the leaky one, called the tail service mast umbilical. They think some loosened bolts may have been the problem. So far, room temperature testing shows that the team may have resolved the issue. NASA intended to roll back the SLS rocket and Orion spacecraft to Launch Pad 39B in late May. The agency is targeting the early to mid-June timeframe to redo the wet dress rehearsal. The team at NASA want to conduct two more wet dress rehearsals on SLS before considering flight, making August the earliest launch window feasible. Despite that, this timeline delivered a setback to NASA's ambitious plans to return human boots to the moon and possibly pave the way for permanent settlement. NASA planned the crewed Artemis II mission no earlier than May of 2024, and the lunar landing Artemis III mission is scheduled for no earlier than 2025. With Artemis I's delay, it's possible that Artemis's next two missions will also be pushed back. Regardless, Bill Nelson last week said that 2025 is still the target for Artemis III. And that's it for today's episode. If you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. And as a quick note, if you have advertising needs, you can contact us directly via email. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I, I actually just don't care about hope or enthusiasm, motivation. I just give, every, give it everything I've got. Um, let me put it this way. If you need inspiring words, don't do it. <laughs>